Hi everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video I'm going to take you through three scenario based questions and the solution for it. So on my screen you can see the first scenario. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create a top and slicer which is dynamic so that if you select top 5 you will get top 5 categories and when you select top 3 you will get top 3 categories and if you select top 2 you will get top 2 categories and you can add any top and value as per your requirement let's start the video as you can see I have a financial table uh, where I have a profit and product so I'm showing profit by product visualization in this uh, pie chart now I want to create a dynamic top and filter for my pie chart so that if I select top 5 it should show me top 5 categories in this pie chart and if I select top 2 it will show me top 2 categories only for this first I will have to create a table so I will go to enter data I will name it as top n let's give it as metric value and then sort in metric I will write top 5 in value I want to write only the number from top 5 which will be 5 and in sort write 1 top 3 that will be 3 and then sort 2 now one more top 2 2 and this will be 3 so this sort column is basically to sort this top 5 top 3 and top 2 values in a slicer so our table is ready I will load this table this top end table is loaded now I will have to create a rank measure I will right click and click on new measure let's write product rank or I will use rank X write all product So it will it will consider all the products and it will exclude all the filters that has been applied in expression I will uh, take profit measure in value will leave this as it is and in order I will choose descending and then let's choose it as dense rank so here if you choose skip it can skip the ranking numbers so which I don't want now close the bracket our product rank is ready now let's create one more measure and this will be top n condition so in this condition I will check if the product rank is less than equal to selected value of value column from top and table then it will return 1 else return 0 close the bracket now I will add this top and condition in this uh, visual level filter where is top and yeah so let's add this top and condition here and show item in the value is 1 apply filter now let's add a slicer and add this metric column here now let's change the orientation of the slicer to horizontal make it tile make it single select You can uh, sort this axis by metric so that the top five will be at first then top three and then top two so now if I select top five it will show me top five products by profit and if I select top three it is going to give top three products by profit 
whereas if I select top two, it, it's going to give me top two products only. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can choose columns in a table dynamically. So here I can choose as many columns as I want in my table and do my analysis. So keep watching this video to know how it's done. Let's begin the tutorial. So here I have financial table in my model. And the first thing what I will do is I will go to transform data. And I will duplicate this table and rename it as financials pivot. Now I will choose columns whatever I want in my visual. So I will unselect these and uh, select segment and country. You can choose uh, other columns as well but I want only these two dimension columns and from metric columns, unit sold, manufacturing price, sales price, gross sales, sales, cogs and profit. Let's load this. So now I will have to unpivot the metric columns. So I will select segment and country, right click and do unpivot other columns. So it's unpivoted and we have got two columns attribute and value in attribute. We have all the metric values. What we have chosen, I will rename this as field. Let's load this. So it has been loaded. We don't have to use this financial table. I will use this financial pivot only. So let's take a matrix. And from here, I will choose country segment in the rows. Whereas in columns, I will choose the unpivoted field. And in values, I will choose the value column. Now let's do some formatting. Now let's choose a slicer in the report. So I will choose a slicer and add this field column into the slicer. So in slicer settings, I will turn off the multi select with control click as I want to select multiple columns uh, for my visual. Yeah. So it's done. So now if I want to show only sales, I can show that. And if I want to show multiple columns, I can do that also. So this is how you can select columns dynamically in a grid. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sync slicers on the same page. So generally we have an option to sync slicers on different pages. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can do it on the same page. So let's start the video. As you can see, we have uh, three slicers for country segment and discount band and the same slicers on the bottom for country segment and discount band. Our requirement is whenever we select anything from this country slicer, it should affect in this slicer as well. And it should show France here. And if I change anything from here, it should change here as well. Same thing goes for the other two slices. So how can we achieve this? First of all, go to view and turn on the slices. Now, if you see, if I select country and uh, go to advanced options, here we have an option for enter group name to sync selection to any other visuals with that group name. So what we will do is we will add a group name for country. So what basically means this country slicer is in the group called country. Now for this slicer also I will give the name as country. 
so these two country slicers are in the same group that is country same thing if i do for segment give it name as segment for this also call it segment for discount band let's call it disc for this as well now these two slicers for country are in a group called country and for these two segment slicers they both are in a group called segment and for discount band these two are in a uh, group called disc now if i change this country slicer and select anything from here if i select canada it will show me canada here as well so these two slicers are synced if i go to this slicer and change it to germany you can see that the change is also applied in the first slicer same thing we can do for this segment if i change it to enterprise you can see that these two slices are synced same thing goes for discount band if i select none the none will be selected in the first slicer so this is how we sync slicers on the same page so that was it for this video if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and if you like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you everyone